Often when guests inquire about our church, they ask about who else is at our church. It's easy to know the intent behind the words, will there be anyone else here like me? This is a question that is understandable to ask because we all have an underlying desire to connect with people that we can relate to. Sometimes it's age or maybe life stage, but people connecting with others in a similar walk of life can be comforting. Yet, being around people just like us can't, doesn't always help us grow. In 1 Corinthians 12, the Apostle Paul challenges us to see the value not only in our similarities, but in also in our differences. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, he says, but the same gift is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but is the same God who does the work in all of us. When I was younger, I ignorantly wanted to just be around people of my own age group. After all, what could someone younger or older add any value to my spiritual life? But man, was I wrong. Some of my greatest leaps of faith happened when I chose to listen and connect with other Christians that were different than me. There's so much wisdom in those who have gone ahead of us. And there is hope and life and inspiration in those who are young, just starting off their walk with God. There's a beauty of being around other believers who are different than us. God's hope for his church is for unity, not uniformity. The next time you walk into a room and you don't see a familiar face, maybe God wants you to, in faith, take a step across the room and connect with someone new. You may be surprised at what God may show you through that person.